The San Juan School District is geographically one of the largest school districts uh, probably in the United States. Uh, it, it's almost 8,000 square miles and our schools are very far apart. Uh, we have uh, approximately 3,000 students uh, spread out among uh, six elementary schools, one middle school, and six high schools. All of our schools are a fair distance apart. Monticello and Blanding is approximately uh, a 20 minute drive and from there it goes to uh, about a 45 minute drive to Montezuma Creek and a, an hour and 20 minutes to now, uh, Monument Valley High School. And so we have a lot of distances and driving that we have to do and so our, one of our biggest challenges is the time uh, that we have to spend driving uh, to visit schools and provide the support that they need. Unique challenges in, in a rural area, you know, I've only taught in a rural area, so I don't, I don't look at it so much as a challenge, just an opportunity where, fortunately because of the technology, which has been going for about 20 years, and more so uh, beyond prior to me coming in, uh, I get to um, reach out to all the area schools as far as Navajo Mountain, which is about, you know, 200 miles away in our district. So our district is very, very broad. So some of the challenges are that I don't get to see my students face to face on a regular basis. I have to deal with the technology, which can and cannot work all the time. But it's still the opportunity is there for kids to be able to be, to, to have this um, curriculum brought to them because of such a high demand for health science. And health science is everywhere in our entire county, in every community. And kids see that, they want to come back to where they live, and they want to have a career that they can um, give back as well as make a good living. This is the foundation. This really starts them out. I think these students have like a different sort of insight um, as opposed to like an urban area where like they're in a city. A lot of the things that we deal with here are like unique to the area. For example, uh, our ELLs have like a unique, like a purely unique situation than the rest of the country because one, our language like uh, Navajo isn't like an established language and it, it's considered a dying language so a lot of the students don't have like a really strong support system for that language and at the same time a lot of them are hesitant to be, like learn English because our grandparents went through a lot of trauma when they were younger so learning English is like a huge issue when it comes to like older generations and the newer generations so right now we have students that are stuck between two worlds and both of them don't know like a certain language. And learning how to code is a whole third language that they need to learn, but it also gives them that problem solving ability. So I think these students need to learn how to code just to be able to fit in the modern world. Um, I think uh, some of the students in Blanding came with the idea of like, if Navajo is a dying language, why don't we build an app? to learn the language and they built like a whole curriculum around that and the app's been deployed. I'm learning it. I don't know how to speak Navajo, but I'm using the app to learn it. I'm like teaching my son who's two years old to learn it. So like there's different ways to like come up with these old problems that we have. It has been said that in San Juan County, our greatest export is our youth. And in most cases, to find a, a, well, a good paying job or to prepare for you know, life, uh, find a career, they need to move away. We're looking at ways in which we can provide training and provide uh, courses and pathways that will provide opportunities for our young people to stay and live in the communities that they grew up in if they so choose. We also believe that as technology evolves and infrastructure comes in place, that there will be opportunities to find work as coders or, or de developing web sites or, or commercial art that can be done here locally. We also want to work more with our employers, uh, local employers uh, in construction areas and in uh, automotive and see if we can provide more opportunities for our youth, uh, our, our students to work with them. All of our programs on all three of our campuses where we offer our seven programs are interconnected and our instructors share students and they share lab instructors. 
um, our, this pharmacy tech room that we're in now, we have software that communicates with the other um, campuses and they're able to um, mimic real uh, pharmacies where they send prescriptions back and forth. So um, our technology is such that we can reach anywhere in the state and we can get, we have a pathologist over in Cortez, Colorado, who oversees our um, medical lab tech program and he um, gets other pathologists from Colorado to broadcast over to our MLT students and talk about current topics in pathology. So it's really great because we have a huge network of providers all over the state that are willing to participate and outside of the state even that can broadcast and, and bring cutting edge education to our students. Intermountain Healthcare has created a number of videos that I'm able to show students the different careers, more than just nursing and doctoring, like surgical tech, uh, pharmacology, anesthesiology. Show them careers outside of just the two that they may be familiar with uh, through um, videos. And the, the, the professional actually goes through and says, this is what I'm responsible for. This is what I do and it gives kids a different idea of what opportunities are out there. But a lot of it comes through video technology. It has to, just because of the distance. CTE in and of itself, especially if they work hard and they're able to get the certification, the, we're working really hard to tie that certification to the industry so that if they go out to get a job, they have that certificate that says, I know these skills. And the people in the industry know what skills they know because of the connections and so that's our long-term hope is even down here to make those connections so that whether it's here locally or if they go up north they'll be able to take those certifications and be able to say these are the skills that I know. We've had students that have started as medical assistants um, and moved on to you know nurse, nurse practitioners, nurse anesthetists and gone on into the nursing program or, or above. We have uh, a couple of MAs that went on to PA school. So we, we're getting all kinds of success stories. Our goal is to really give them uh, the knowledge and the opportunities so that they can be college and career ready. And the world is changing uh, dramatically and we want to help our students be successful. That's part of our charter as educators. We want to be able to give them, uh, provide opportunities where they have the choice.